Mastering modal verbs for probability, the affirmative form. Hello there, English learners. Welcome back to our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we're focusing on modal verbs for probability, specifically the affirmative form. These words are a powerful tool in English, helping us to express likelihood and possibilities. So, get ready to power up your English skills. Before we dive into the affirmative form, let's quickly refresh what modal verbs for probability are. They are special types of verbs that express how likely something is to happen. Common ones include must, might, may, could, and should. We use them to indicate how sure or unsure we are about something. The affirmative form is when we use these verbs in a positive sentence. It's the form we use when we say something is likely to happen or is probably true. Here's how it generally looks. Subject plus modal verb plus base verb plus rest of the sentence. Here are a few examples. 1. She must be at home. Her car is in the driveway. 2. They might have seen the movie already. They're big fans of the series. 3. He could be sleeping. It's quite late there. In all these cases, we're saying that something is likely true based on our understanding or some evidence. While all these verbs express probability, they don't all express it to the same degree. For example, must expresses a high degree of certainty. He must be tired after such a long trip. Might, may, and could suggest possibility but not certainty. It might rain later. Should is often used for logical assumptions. They should arrive soon. Their flight landed an hour ago. It's important to choose the correct modal verb based on the level of certainty you wish to express. And there you have it, the affirmative form of modal verbs for probability. Remember, these verbs are an excellent way to convey different degrees of certainty and make your English more nuanced. Keep practicing these in your daily conversations, and you'll become a master in no time. Thank you for watching. And until next time, keep up your enthusiasm for English.